Hello and welcome. This is the clown. But not a regular clown run. Where the goal for this run is to find the most powerful clown we can ever build. So the start is fairly common, except that we are starting with a unique clown. But also, you can see we are dealing already a bunch of damage. Why? Because we're doing Invisible Knife, Chosen Hunter's Daughter, and Gunpowder Sword. And as a plus, prohibited, prohibited Book, because we do have Highlight and Jack in the Box, which are both multi-hitting skills. So if you, if you please come here, we can start building up our book. I also got the Curian to start and I remember, I'm not attacking by the end of the round. The goal is to one-shot every single boss. Not the hero, the hero has a lot of HP, but getting very close, at least. Oh, come on. Ow. I... I forgot it was... I don't know why I did that. But yeah, the powers of the clown is basically, are basically, we get to do a lot of multi-hitting stuff, and because it's a, mo a lot of multi-hitting stuff, we are getting a lot of multi-hitting bonuses. By the way, if you want to duplicate a uh, skull here, gargoyle, and then you talk to here, and you have a chance of getting the, the duplicate, otherwise you don't. It's not always guaranteed, it's by chance, but that's the only way to, to get a chance. 40 fragments, that's a good start, especially since we more than used the, used the mod to start with uh, Unique instead. So, we should be legendary very soon. Omen! Rapidity Omen, oh come on. Rapidity Omen would be very good if we were doing basic attacks, but no, we're doing skill spam. So I'm taking the Lunar Ring, so we can maybe find the Solar Sword and have cure, uh, and have Fortune Dawn. Fortune Dawn is very good, especially since we are doing mixed damage. We're doing both physical and magic damage with our book and our arrow and our Gunpowder Sword. And the goal here is to extend our damage to up absurd amounts until everything is dead. So we'll see how this goes. I want to leave part to RNG just in case. And since the goal is to be very powerful, we're talking to that halfling girl and healing for a bit. So we have a chance to see the slime and see some duplication for one of these very powerful items. Please summon, so I can trigger on both. Good. Oh, boom! Easy like that. Now let's reroll here and see what's our legendary. Or if we get a very good unique, we're also thinking that. Nope. Nope. It's infinite bone. Yes. Since our build is essentially skill spam, that's insane. We could also go for a soar since we fly, do fly with highlight, but I think we want some other stuff here. Hidden blade is a good start, for instance. But let us just wear fragments and try to build our clown very fast. We will find good items by the end of the run, hopefully. Right now, 390-375% damage, we do have Fortune Dawn. We... Oh, Fortune Dawn triggered so high that we didn't hit. First world problems. I did start with uh, Unique Clown for a simple reason. Uh, so we could get both of these skills. It's not because I wanted to get faster to Legendary, otherwise I would have started with just Legendary. I just wanted to guarantee these two skills because that's my idea for this run. Uh, 
Okay, so far, the damage is looking good. Don't know your opinion about it. We can't even get to the book consistently because everything is, is just blowing up so quickly. Suffering from success, I guess. But still, 100 ticks from the book so far. That's uh, very good. Ouch. Who said highlight was bad? Holy crap, that's a lot of damage. Also, yeah, I know. We are doing absurd stuff, but that's the idea. This is a, another absurd run because we haven't done one of those in a while. That's absurd. Ha, pun intended. Don't know. It's absurd how, how long it took to get to that. Uh, no skulls here, but uh, we'll swap this. If we find a skull room, we have guaranteed legendary clown, the Joker. Okay, everything is shredding everything. So that's a good sign. Okay. Our infinite bone is not. Ooh, legendary. Looking hot. So let's see what we got here. I will wait for the, the skill since it's so quick. Okay, 133 for a Silphid Wings. We will take that. We are not going to use it so frequently. But it is a fun one. I can see Dressy and such. So let's see. Okay. That was phase one. Let us deal with phase two with some more challenge because there. That's the power level that we're aiming for every boss fight. We see we'll see if we can get there to the other bosses. We could take this for wisdom, or we can just move away and leave it like that. Don't want any of those those items, really. So, shyness, yes, please. So here's the thing about doing absurd runs. We're allowed to just come here and pick whatever we want. So I want four curses. And the, the curses are these three, and let us see. We could go for something for for extra percent damage like this, or for extra amplification. Amplification is nice, but I I do enjoy my lanophobia, so let's do it. Didn't get to another school room to get our legendary clown in this act, so it's going to wait until the adventures, but it should be fine. I guarantee you. Ouch. Yeah, 
With Melanophobia, these things have more HP and do more damage to you, so it hurt, hurts sometimes. Also, the the Sifu wings are stealing from our book, so I think we're going to get rid of them at some point. But let's see what we get here to replace Sifu wings. None of that. I think. Yeah, none of that for now. And boom. Okay, so far, so good. I hope we find a, a good item soon, maybe the dual omen or something, so we don't need to think to use the stupid wings anymore. Feels like a waste to destroy it in the middle. Also, if we find a legendary chest, it would give us the chance of maybe. Nice book, 236, almost halfway there. It's such a hard one. That's a good one. Just don't get hit. If you don't get hit, you have skill cooldown for free. So yeah. Ouch, that hurt. We didn't find it. In... Oh, come on. Having to wait? This is not the most powerful clown ever. If I have to wait and still take damage like a chump. Oh, Reaper, my boy. Thank you for your fragments. We took a lot of damage. So you know what we're going to do. Increase our damage output. The Joker, T pose. People don't like that. Some people do. I don't care. All I care is, highlights now homes. It tracks the enemy. So it's uh, even more powerful. Let's see what we got here. Items are good, usually. Even if they're bad, just seeing more items is a good thing. I will heal more damage for us. And I still want some good something good. None of this is good. Man attacking arms is actually interesting. But no. One of wisdom. Let us just fix two inscriptions here. I want courage, I want to strike. Strike gives us more damage for crits, which is kind of what we're doing a crit build. Oh, come on. We killed everything up here, so... Poison Dunley is taking our book damage. I think our damage is good. I don't know what you think. 
what you're seeing. But still can be better. And the hope is it will be. Not with this omen though. That's such a bad omen. I'll say no. Oh, fortune down again. Blew up 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 there. And uh, killed everyone. Ouch, that hurts. Don't care. Let us keep going. Sisters are coming. We almost have the book, so should be okay in the first half of the next act. So let's see how many hits does it take to kill one sister. Apparently more than one. Two. Two highlights. That's too little. Oh, only 110% damage. We need to increase that. We can increase that, probably. Hopefully. Let us see what our reward is. Archdemon, Raven Lord. We don't really want anything here. These quintessences are not what we're looking for. They have utility, but they're not that necessary. We could replace shyness with something. Sin Okay, I'm going to replace Shyness with OCD because, because Shyness is conditional, OCD is not. Alternatively, we could just do Predicted Pain, but then our items deal less damage. I want Global Amplification. So we need some of those global damage givers like Ooh, nice Arc Lich Arc Liches also busted with this this combination and or items but I think I think we're good Everything dead? Good. Let us see what comes next. Ninja? No. I'll just take more fragments and keep going. the hitting orbs here since we did it we did take two hits there and let's see if we find an omen I still I'm still looking for the dual on ouch I tried to dash there I failed did our book book turn up yeah I was looking for a book apparently we did we also got hit by Frieza because of that but now the book is going to deal damage and ooh, 
I like me some pain and despair. Also, I'm okay with this. And holy crap, this would be a very good collection desire. I wasn't doing this intentionally. But let us see what we got here. Okay, I'm not taking that. It's, it's fun, it's, it's good, but it doesn't increase our damage. And I want more damage. Boom. Yes. Okay. That is going very well. What was the NPC? Free fragments? Yes, please. Thank you. We still not need more crits. I I want the possibly the black, black steel dagger. Also, if we if we can find the ring uh, or the, the good old. Uh, pot of greed for more raw damage. I will be. It will be great. But let's see. With this much, how far we can go here? Spoilers. Very far. So. 359% skill pull down speed and already over 1000% physical damage. It's going to go up thanks to melanophobia and ambition scaling off each room that we enter. So, and ouch, that was brutal. Oh, freaking great armor. Our worst enemy. Besides, besides ourselves. Ouch. <laughs> the book killed the the golem. Let's go. Do a moment. Oh yeah, we have infinite bone. Sometimes it works. It's so rare, maybe we need to get rid of that. But when it works, yeah, it's pretty nice though. Flexi Dagger? Nope. Master Fighter is good, two good inscriptions and. Hmm. And some damage against bosses. Though. It would be only for the inscriptions. The worst one is Thief Armor, but the inscriptions are very good right now, so it's going to stay like that. Weird one, I know. Uh, keep, keep trying. But I don't know why I'm only using the skills. Our book is already evolved. We can use our skills, uh, our attack during cooldowns. Omen, and it's ooh, it's actually a, a good omen. I do like the hidden blade description because it amplifies damage on first hit. But the misfortune here deals more damage than that one. I think we'll see. Maybe I did wrong. 
Oops. <laughs> so much damage. We'll see if, if I made the right choice. By looking how easily enemies die. They are dying so quickly, we still don't see the power of the... Of the thing that we bought, but... You'll see. You'll see by the end. Let's fight. Chimera. You know my opinion about Chimera. I like her. She's easy. You could say that about my ex as well. Okay, the easiest boss in the game. Let's see how this goes. Is it? Yep. Fairly easy. Two button presses essentially. And the goal is to go further with... Ooh. You know how much I love my Shadow Knights. I think I think I'm going Shadow Knights. Alternatively, we can go troll. Right. Our percent crit rate is only 60. This would help. But not really. I want my Shadow Knights. Shadow Knights clear room, rooms as well. So we'll just keep destroying everything. Because I enjoy, I enjoy that. And since we don't have any use for fragments, we are going to get there. Also, because we we, d we want to go as much damage as we can, we are now prioritizing gold and uh, items over school rooms. We're not going to grab more fragments. We don't care about our HP, we care about our enemies' HP. Our HP is never coming to zero in this build, you know? Items over gold, because item rooms can have omens, and omens are powerful. Like that. I will say no, even though we don't have many other NPCs that we would like to see. I don't like seeing her face multiple times anyway. Mediocre, more attack speed, yes, we're not using that, drugs, yes, that's about it, not the best, but still, kill everything. for the shields. Hopefully I never use it. And masterpiece. We only have one. So it's not worth it. It's too late to build around it, but it would be an interesting an interesting build to do. We don't need the fragments, but I opt to do this anyway. Champion. Ooh. Bad skills. Also, last week we already did a champion run and it was very fun. If you want to catch that up. Just look for my champ. I have two champion runs, one of them lost and the other one is the recent one. You will need to watch to see how much better it was, let's see. So yeah, 
We're very close to the limit of Melanophobia. Melanophobia can only get 32. We have 29, which is good. 290% extra damage. We have our amplifications and such. Oh no, ultimate. Now we need to run. Dash. Stop here. Dash. Highlight. You know, some, some enemies are very hard. <laughs> I, I guess I'll buy HP so it seems like we're so powerful we, we need some HP. Also, if we do find more Specifically, if we do find uh, If we if we do find more omens, it might be useful to buffer one hit from the hero or so or something And Omen and Legendary Arms Omen, a duel. Pain and Despair. It's not the hidden blade that we're looking for, really. I I'd prefer if we find Black Steel Dagger. But still. percent so good we can just walk around and ooh and it's uh, this there come on game we do have a good amount of gold though which is a good thing I guess we will see two more legendary items by the end of this run at least If the cooldown on this was better, it would be insane, but as it is, it just sucks. We don't need fragments, we, we don't need these items either, they're bad. See? Shops are so powerful. You can just see whatever you want. So many items, so much goodness. What a waste of 11,000 gold. When you're looking for something specific, confirmation bias is the only thing that is going to work for you. Because item rooms and shops are going to show you items both ways. And the one that works for you is the one that you're going to prefer. So. Yeah, I've had this discussion already multiple times with Axa and the, his Twitch chat, but, oh come on, this is the strike item that we get, it does, gives 100% critical, so, critical hit, so it's basically troll, but other than that is useless for us, what a shame. This run was supposed to be the most powerful clown run that I could build, but with this RNG we are only at 1300% physical damage, 1000 magic damage, max melanophobia and max uh, metal box, but we didn't see Hope Slasher, we didn't see Netherman Suppressor, so yeah, bittersweet, but 
It's definitely a victory. We 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 don't lose this. There. We killed Joanne before the, the Shadow Knights could hit her. That's the kind of run that I was looking for. Two more legendary items that do not work for us. We will catch the... Why did we get that dark thing around us for destroying... I... Did we not destroy an item? I wanted to destroy an item for more gold. No idea what happened there. But anyway, highlights and uh, highlight again and uh, this and that. Good. Only two maps, so it doesn't work for us. Too late for you, stun of the hair. I will replace here because if you watched our last fun run, it works. Ooh. This is good. It's very good. It's for, even though it would be good if we could also replace here with something else, like Hidden Blade. Like replace Hidden Blade here and fix this. Uh, as it is, it cannot work first. I think. But at the same time, I don't need the infinite bone. So, let's do this. It's still 2200, so it doesn't do anything. But, crit damage here 2x. Very good. Even though it doesn't increase our crit rate. And let us let us keep going. I have something to say. But yeah. Our skill cooldown is so good. Even without infinite bone. Thanks to the Wood statue import import. So we'll keep that. I think the book was underwhelming. So here is where I show the the final build. The final sets are these 1314 with 2x crit damage. But you cannot just look at these two and think these are what determine our DPS because we have amplification on ambition, which is 64% amplification. We have infectious disease, which reduces it's essentially another amplification. We have OCD for 40%, 1.4 times 1.33 times 1.64. It's a lot of amplification on top of everything that we have. Uh, these items, I started with these four in, in hope that we could find better, uh, like a, a, an organic high damage build. We didn't find good items like the the ring or the hope slasher, netherman suppressor, uh, the uh, part of greed. So uh, we didn't find the black steel dagger. We couldn't duplicate one of these good items with this slime. So this run it was fairly underwhelming for what the goal was. The goal was to build the most powerful clown that I could. But it was the most powerful clown that we could for this build. But since we have Berserker here with Bone Screen, we're going to screen swap and get in. So we have very high attack speed against the hero. We can just come in and press the, the skill button. 
Let's see how this goes. Okay, the hero has way more HP than Joanne, as you can see here. But still, fairly fast. Let's see second phase. <laughs> That's beautiful. Uh, if you don't enjoy this kind of absurdity, I'm okay. We have other kind of runs that you can enjoy. For instance, my run with Reaper, where it wasn't absurd at all. It was just Reaper. We did take damage, huh? And now, without the infinite bone. Oh, come on. The, the spikes there. Almost kills us. Oh, we jumped right in to the trap. Doesn't matter though. That was a, close to a very quick second phase, but the second phase wasn't wasn't as satisfying as the first one. Either way, this was a powerful clown run. If you don't think it was powerful, you can do better. I know you can do better. With the mods, you can force 9 good items to start, or 9 of the same item. I was trying to do a very good achievable run, but we should have probably started with 2 arrows. Anyway, that's it for me today. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a good one. See you in the next video. And stay safe.